Good evening. My guest tonight is an IT professional with plenty of background in software development. He's very passionate about IT and has a lot of views on how he thinks we can use information technology to better our lives. Mr. Herman Chinuhesi, thank you for coming. Thank you very much. Herman, you're the chairman of Soft Tribe. It's, yes. We've known it for a while. Yes. You know, you guys have been trailblazers in many ways in the area of yes, software. Yes, we have. Um, could you be in a different place if the environment was different in terms of the level of development of your business? Hey, David, that was quick. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, we started the company in 1991. Mm. We've, we've picked up all kinds of awards. Mm. We've, we've basically opened up the industry in Ghana. Yeah. And, uh, what industry? Software industry, specifically. Mm. In Ghana, I mean, today we do a few other things, yeah. um, systems integration and so on. But um, we worked very hard. We were younger then, we were stronger then, yeah. and uh, we've done all kinds of things. But uh, we hit where we were like 70 employees, yeah. and uh, we started realizing that the, the structure of the economy does not support it. Support growth beyond that point. It can be done. I mean, we're, we're trying to do it. What does but that mean? That there will be nothing for them to do? For 70 people to do. Is that what you mean? Well, when you say can't support growth beyond that point, what do you mean? Well, put it this way. I'll give you an example. Mm. I have a, we have partners we work with in Nigeria. Mm. They manage to turn over, given government contracts, etc., maybe 50 times what we turn over. In terms of skills, we are similar or better. But the country kind of understands, like the U.S., like Germany, like England, that local industry comes first. And uh, I think we need to make some strides in that direction. And this is not only specific to the IT industry, it's specific to all industries. Across board. Across board. That, that's the only way. Otherwise, we'll have no school fees and we'll have no tax. And uh, the country will be bankrupt, which it is. If we're getting income support from the World Bank and so on, it's evidence that something's not being handled properly. Uh, Sweden doesn't get money from the World Bank, they support local industry. America doesn't, they support local industry. President Bush does not drive a Mercedes-Benz. I'm sure he's heard of Mercedes-Benz. He still drives a big, uh, coffin-looking American. American car because he wants his cousins to have jobs, and he's not confused. And, and these, they these, are not confused. They are not confused. These, these are not things... We are confused a bit. A little bit. <laughs> I, I, not necessarily even confused. I understand you. I understand you. No, it's not, it's not necessarily even confused. Anybody, I, just, yeah. I think I, my personal opinion is that, um, you know, upon all the strides and so on, people like us have made, my company has made, in the industry, and not just us, there are other people in the industry who've yeah. also done that well, and in other, other industries. Yeah. We never had a government contract. <laughs> not to say government is the only place that can give us contracts, but in a country like us... Where government is the biggest it's employer. It's the biggest employer. It's the biggest uh, buyer. And but government buys IT services. Yeah, from abroad, not from here. I mean, from abroad? The, the industry standard payroll package is Akechua. Yeah. We, we wrote Akechua. Yeah. I was part of the team that designed it. Akutua is used by all the multinationals. Akutua is used by almost everybody in Ghana. Ghana government uses a foreign system. Now, it gets so embarrassing that uh, when we go out to sell in foreign countries, the, the, the competition, the boys from Europe, they, they point out to the uh, client that, hey, wait a minute. You see these people talking about doing stuff. They, where are they from? Ghana. We did Ghana. And they're having problems. If they were that good, the government would have bought from them. That has spoiled a few contracts from, uh, for us. In, in Simply because... You, you, Even if the public sector didn't do anything, yeah. it would be better. But that they're buying abroad is actually making us look really bad. I mean, because imagine that you're, you're a lawyer and mm. your, your father hires the services of a lawyer outside one of his children. That looks really bad. And uh, I'll give you an example. I mean, the other day, two things. There's some software that runs the airport. It's something we've always wanted to do because uh, <coughs> there's a publicity factor. Plus, there's some money to be made there. Mm -hmm. Our Nigerian partners flew into town, met me at the airport, I went to pick them up, and they hadn't seen the system. And they told me, hey, Herman, great. Hey, Oga, I see you people are doing very well these days. I said, why? I said, ah, you are the biggest software people in Ghana. I mean, there's a big system at the airport. It must be yours. I said, no, I don't even know that it exists. Really? Yeah, it's quite embarrassing. So, so that they are immediately questioning their partnership so, with us. So, 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 so what business do you do? So it's private? So where do you... Where, where, where? Private sector. We do a lot of private sector. The Unilevers, the Guinnesses, the Mobiles, the Totals, the... And you, are, you can do it? Oh, we have done it. When Unilever is talking to us, it's not because they like talking to us. It's because we are international standard. That's why they talk to us. Mm. But uh, it becomes a problem where companies like us will grow to a certain point, 
and then we have two options. We have, for example, had to partner with Microsoft because we didn't see any other way. I mean, not to say Microsoft is a bad company. Yeah, but you like, could easily have done it on your own. I could, so could have done it. But, but you find that you are uh, unique. To uh, absolutely. There's, there's no other way. Because yeah. to, to get certain things done, you need the World Bank consultant, 22-year-old white boy, to approve a Microsoft product which we will support, which is disgraceful because it doesn't happen the other way around. You don't need a Nigerian to approve a, a package in, in the US or Britain uh, before the British government buys it, which, which is quite weird. Now, when you have these kinds of situations, it, it leaves leaves you in a bit of a dilemma because, yeah. you know, the, 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 the way I figured it, there are two types of countries. There are the hunter countries that go out and hunt for business, and there are hunted countries. Now, where they come and take business. They come and take business. And take business. Uh -huh. So we, we are prey. Yeah. Now, you feel like we are prey, right? Yeah, we are prey. And, uh, but, but it shows. I'm, I'm sure if some English company came into your industry, I'm sure they'll take you out. Because the, the, all the, the British High Commission work and British government financed work, given the 40% or so of our budget that they support, will go to them. It's all over. All the American government work. This is a problem for it, us. It is a problem. This is a big problem. No serious country can operate. Nobody made money from aid. I don't know of any country that developed through aid. I don't know. I don't know. I've just never heard of any such thing. I mean, everybody else is not confused. The average European cow gets $7 a day from the European governments. $7 a day. Me, myself, in Ghana, if I get $7 a day, I like <laughs> I'm forget the cow. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be a cow. You see what I mean? So these are the kinds of issues. So <laughs> you'd rather be a cow. Exactly. So if, if I, is that the subsidy for yeah for the for the agricultural that's things? That's so, so if a Ghanaian uh, a cattle rancher is going to sell against a European cattle rancher in China, this is the problem they are facing. They have to drop their price by the subsidy, and then they can't make money. And and you know we haven't subsidized. Well, we can say we can't afford to subsidize. Well, we it's can't. not correct. For all you know, we can. Eh? Well, I mean, it's we, a policy we, thing, isn't it? It is a policy thing. But, but, tell me, but tell other me. things that can be done. For example, mm. uh, tariff regime, That's it. You uh, can licensing, ex exactly. So it's policy. 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 It's, it's will and policy. That's it. And it's not, these things are not restricted to one particular government. Yes. It, it is our colonial legacy. In, in, I'm, I'm guessing that in the colonial days, it must not have been the case that we were buying technology locally. So we've just continued. When you want... Car, when you, you, you go, go to you Germany. go outside. When you want this, you go to, when you want cocoa, you go to Ghana. When you want corn, you go to Ghana. When you want computer, you go abroad. And this fundamentally has to change. It's not, it's not right. I don't think people are evil or anything. We just need to be, because otherwise, you see, if you think about it, for the the, the, the Ghanaian people, we who are electing our governments, we want protectionism. Why? We, we are queued at the embassies of countries that give protectionism. If I was going to get a British passport and live in England. And the whole time I was living in England, I couldn't run a business because Nigerians and, and Kenyans and Somalis and Iraqis are coming to collect the contracts. Uh, nobody will go to England. They'll just stay in Ghana because that's what we have here. <laughs> you see what I mean? So, so the whole thing is, is a little backwards. Give the people what they want. They want protection. They, they want the, the, the jobs. They want jobs created. And another thing I found. But some say that when you do that, then it's not efficient. You're just uh, they can say what they like. All I know is that America is like that. England is like that. It's because they are fishing. Uh, they're, they're working. I mean, they, they, we can say all, we can theorize all we want. The yeah. reality does not state that. America is like that. If you like, try and export something to the U.S., they will hit you with USDA regulation that will stop you from exporting it. Uh, unless, of course, it's not a, it's mango. Mango is not a threat to America. They don't make mangoes. So then that's not a problem. Uh, so you are saying we really should also we should own our countries. Own exactly. Our countries.